Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, we are going to be taking a beginner's look at the double top and double bottom charting patterns. I'm also going to introduce certain volume characteristics to look for when it comes to these patterns and also how you can measure your take profit zones when it comes to the double top and the double bottom. So you don't want to miss this one guys and I'll see you in the video. Thank you for joining me once again guys. If you are new to the channel, a big welcome and don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and tick that notification bell to stay in tune with my future videos and give the channel some support. Now yes, today we're going to be talking about the double top pattern and the double bottom pattern. We are also going to venture into some volume characteristics to look for when it comes to these patterns playing out and also how you can measure the take profit targets when these patterns do eventuate with price action. Now, a double top is generally shaped as an M and a double bottom is generally shaped as a W. When it comes to a double top and a double bottom, it is a charting pattern that signifies a change in trend and a momentum reversal from prior levels of support and resistance. So a double top, an M shape, it indicates a bearish reversal in trend direction and a double bottom indicates a bullish reversal in trend direction. So before we go on, it's important to consolidate your trading time frame. The reason for this is because say for instance on the daily, the asset might be in an ascending trend. But we know that if we go in on closer time frames, guys, that price will tend to fluctuate in either direction, though it may not penetrate or violate that overall daily trend. So when it happens, yes, double tops and double bottoms do occur on all time frames, but it's always important to be consolidating the time frame in which you're trading with, and this is best used with your general support and resistance. Okay, so looking at the characteristics of a double bottom, there is a prior downtrend to which it generally falls onto a level of support, so it's always important to map your support and resistance. After that, it'll rally to a high and come back and touch onto this second level. Now what's happening here is upon this first touch, it's confirming our first bottom and our second touch is our second bottom. Now the importance of this uh, rally high between the two troughs of the double bottom is really important due to the fact that this is now considered the neckline. The neckline is important because it gives us a confirmation to take a long position upon the price breaching through the neckline here. Now, generally you will see if you are to enter upon a breakthrough of the neckline, you can expect a throwback onto this neckline before the price continues to increase. There are many ways to trade a double bottom, but this is just one. Now, the depth of the two troughs between the high here, the neckline, are important as well as we can measure the expected take profit targets of any given trade. And I'll explain that shortly. Okay, so when it comes to volume and the double bottom, the first confirmation of the first bottom is generally accompanied with a high level of volume. Now on the second touch of the double bottom, it's generally very light. What's important here is that the volume between is generally like trough-like shaped, like a U. In addition, when it comes to the initial breakout, if you are to enter a trade here for a long, for a throwback, you can expect that the volume actually increases upon it penetrating that neckline. So to recap, there should be high volume on the first bottom that is formed with the double bottom. There should be a lull period between the uh, two troughs. And on the second, it should be accompanied with lighter volume. Now, most importantly, once again, once it breaks a neckline, you can expect higher levels of volume. Okay, taking a look at some price action when it comes to a double bottom, you can see a prior downward trend here before we see some kind of uh, reversal here. This confirms our first bottom. Now we do see a rally to a high. This will be considered and important for our neckline. We see another pullback onto this previous level here before we rally up, throw back and go again. So if we take a look at this, you can see one, our first double bottom or our first bottom, sorry, is formed here. Our second bottom is formed here. And if we draw a line here, they're exactly the same. Now there are many kinds of double bottoms. There's Eve and Adams, Adams and Eve's and Adams and Adams. This is an Adam and Adam double bottom because it's based on two stilts. Now, I won't go on further about that, but let's look at applying our rule. We know that between the two troughs, there will be a high, and that's where we can measure our neckline. 
So if we measure our neckline just here, okay, using the characteristics, we can see that the price rallied up to this point, come back, confirmed our second bottom, and we come back up to the neckline. Now, as I mentioned, when it comes to this and volume, you can see on that first touch or confirmation of that first bottom that there is a vast increase in volume here. You will see a low period in between the neckline being created. And then on the second touch, confirming your second bottom, you can see that there is a clear decrease in volume to that of the first confirmation of the first bottom. What you see here is that there is an increase in volume on the breakout of that neckline. Now, as I mentioned, the one way, or there's many ways you can trade, but the one way I'm gonna to demonstrate today is once you penetrate this neckline here, you can expect the price to be thrown back onto this neckline before it then goes for it. With that, you can then set stop losses just under the neckline, or some people, depending on your risk to reward ratio and also your time frame, can set it under point a or point B of the double bottom. So let's now take a look at the measure rule. The measure rule is the height from the highest high between the two bottoms here. So the highest high was created right here. This will form the neckline. And once you identify the highest high between these two bottoms, the lower of the two bottoms, in this case, they're basically the same, but you can see this one is just lower. What you do then is you grab your trend tool and you measure it from the lowest uh, low of that those two troughs to the neckline. You then apply that to the breakout when it pulls back, and you can see that the profit target here was exactly right here. In this case, it actually played out quite well. You can see that we actually reached this uh, profit. Before. Okay, so taking a look at the characteristics of a double top, what we can see is we have a prior uptrend until we hit a certain point where we form our first top. We then have a decline to a price in which we rally again to form our second top. Again, important that we know this because we can measure our trend or our neckline in this case. And then once we fall below it, you can expect either a throwback. But the majority of times when it comes to a double top, there is actually no throwback. Now, if we look at some price here, this double top, you can see is not as narrow as my previous example with the double bottom. Now, when it comes to patterns like this, narrow and taller patterns will perform better than that of wider and shorter patterns. We can see here that we formed our first top right here. We formed our second top even higher. Now, it's common to see again the volume characteristics on a double top. The volume is going to be higher on that first touch than it is here on that second initial top. Also, we have a neckline created here. If we use the same uh, measuring technique here from the uh, highest point of the second or the highest point of any of the tops and measure it to the neckline, you can see that it perfectly hit its target right here. In this case, we did have a breakthrough here and a throwback before we ended up triggering that target. And if I'm to draw a line exactly where that target is here, you will see that no doubt that there is a level of support and resistance. So this is why it's always crucial to be charting your support and resistance. We can see support happening here, resistance here prior. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my short beginner's guide to trading double tops and double bottoms and certain characteristics that do exist when you are looking for these kind of chart patterns to play out. If you are interested in any future videos, leave a comment below. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.